Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, this is Stab and Fight After Hours, where I'm gonna be talking to people, you know, who come on after their fights and, you know, victories and you know, stuff like that. And I'm gonna be asking them questions about it, or just have questions about stuff in general. So let's get started. My first question is, um, how do you feel to come off your victory with a Paul? Not only to come off a victory, but to come off a TKO technical knockout, where he didn't want to continue onto the second round. How does that feel? Well, it feels like a good accomplishment. I mean, Paul's a good fighter. The thing is, he 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 has reach. It's just that he can't really seem to know what to do in the situation where I, I charge up on him. But other than that, getting a TKO for a fight like that was it, it was pretty it was pretty satisfying for a fight like that against him. And this was uh, the second time you guys had fought. Time. And so do you feel like you got your redemption? Yeah, I do feel because, I mean, it wasn't really much of a one-round fight. It, it was barely, like, 90-second fight, and he didn't want to go anymore. And, yeah, it was pretty good because, I mean, the first fight was just a grudge match. If you guys have seen it, I just blocked most of the time. But now, now, it was just pretty good, pretty good. What have you been doing to prepare for the fight? Uh, I've been mostly conditioning myself, you know, running, eating right, basically, um... Getting healthy in good ways, many ways, getting good habits, trying not to be as, um, you know, as unthinkable what I've actually eaten and all that, you know, actually get up and do something most of the time, yeah. So you do more conditioning, you know, eating less, mm -hmm. and that's what you've been doing, yeah. get ready for the fight, mm -hmm. all right, um, <clears throat> so we want to know what's next for you, like, here's what um, I've been hearing, you know, because Paul quit. You know, before the second round can go on. And so everybody's wondering, like, what would have happened? What would have happened? So everybody's wondering, is this going to be, like, a trilogy? Is it going to be a part three? Or do you want to move on? And do you want to get that title shot with Bobby? Well, with Paul, I want to give him, if he wants another chance, I'll give it to him, you know? Another, 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 an another fight, basically. You know, if he wants a round three, then we'll get him that. But, I mean, if he doesn't want to, then that's understandable, you know? If other than that, if there's anyone else that wants to get a shot at me, then they can meet me up or whatever, and yeah. we'll get that done. Um, with that title shot, though, what do you, how do you feel about, you know, fighting Bobby for the world championship? Bobby, he is, he, he, he looks like a tough guy. He really does, you know, and I think, like me, how I've been gaining all this momentum from all these victories does seem like, yeah. seems like it could be a good match out. Like, many people seem to be excited at a match like that, you know? So mm -hmm. maybe yeah, with more more time, I could actually get a shot at him. Um, before the undercard for that fight was um was Anthony Kitty versus Joel Perez, and it was for the lightweight belt. Do you have anything you want to say to Anthony on retaining that title, or to Joel, you know, for missing out on this opportunity, or do you have any advice you want to know you want to tell him? Well, with Kitty, he does have power. I've noticed that a lot. He does throw <coughs> a lot of hits. And they don't really connect, but when they do, they're they're pretty brutal. And Joel, he he's fast. It's just that he needs to he needs to come up with like a strategy to approach his opponent. Because um, because at first in the beginning of that fight, Joel was outboxing Katie. He would yeah. go in, land the pop shot, and then he would come out. Mm -hmm. But then you said about Katie has a knockout power, and that's totally that's true because he was um, one of the people that can knock out Jacob. And he knocked out Jacob in the second round when they had their fight a while back to win the title that he has now. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, pe a lot of people are saying, like, you know, like, all these titles, like, they want to see him switch hands already, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's making a lot of things inter interesting when we threw in the titles in this. But um, at the end of your first round with Paul, I noticed that um, whenever y'all were fighting, so, so what happened to your ankle? Because uh -huh. all I remember was... um. With your ankle, you step forward or you step on the wrong foot, if I'm correct, and, you know, you hurt your ankle. How, yeah. how, how is it? Well, it's doing better now. I wrapped it up, getting a little, little massage after now and then. It's getting better now. Yeah. But it's like, um, yeah, after I, I, I tried to throw him one last right punch, but then he turned around to say that he didn't want any more. And yeah. I kind of landed on it wrong because I was wearing a, the place that we were fighting at, the floor was... Um, yeah, it was. Slipped. Yeah, it was. In my slippery. fight, I slipped like yeah. six times. I and I kind of, I kind of <clears throat> slipped wrong and landed on it really wrong, and it did hurt really, really bad. Left a big bruise on it, but <laughs> just, just a bandage, wrapped, wrapped yeah. it up. It's all right. It's getting good. 
Well, um, good luck on your future fights. Mm -hmm. uh, it was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Um, we're out. You know, right. Subscribe to my channel, Mr. Brown Prize 001. Follow me on Instagram. No Playboy Killing. Whatever you need to do, Javier. You know, you have anything you want to say? You no. Know, any words? Follow me on IG too. I'm uh, Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow. Fucking Hangover. If you know, Facebook. Same thing. Not really. It's Xavier Reyes. But other than that, um, yeah. <laughs> In the future, uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it some more effort than I do now. And <clears throat> all my lovers, love y'all. Thanks for the support. Really, really means a lot, and all my haters, I don't really have any because everybody loves me. If um, if anybody has any questions, or if anyone wants to get into a fight, or anybody wants to set anything up, um, you can just reach us there and you know let us know. You can kick me, Playboy Killing. Um, you can um, you know we can we can set something up. But yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, that's right. it. Mm. Bye. All right.